In this episode, I'll demonstrate how to upload bulk data from CSV file into database. Um, let me quickly show you the sample first. So this is um, a CSV file with about 20 MB of data, uh, three columns of data with, I think this will be about a million records. Um, so first we'll import this into a new table and then I'll also demonstrate how to import it to a existing table. Okay, I'm gonna close this video saving. Um, close this as well. Uh, so let's call this above. Let's call this upload bulk data. I'm gonna copy all this. Um, this part will rewrite this part. The rest will be the same. Okay, so here, um, first we'll do uh, select select into um, that will create a new table so select uh, all into and then um, here we'll specify from where we are getting the data so from and then here we will put in our uh, csv um, connection string so it will be a text and then the format will be delimited Um, and then header. So if you have a header, then you specify yes. Um, so we have a header. So if you don't have a header, you set, set this to, sorry, this will be header. If you set this to no, then it will create a field like uh, <clears throat> field one, two, and three, and so on. Okay. Uh, so we'll specify yes for our uh, connector. And then next, you can specify the database path, um, not the full uh, file, but just the path, okay? So here we'll say um, database, and then is equal to, and then this will be the path, and dot, you specify the file name. So the file name is this. And then within the brackets, you put this. So we're saying select into, and then here we'll specify the table. Uh, let's call this new transaction transaction table, something like that. Uh, select all into this table, and then the format is uh, this will be text. Um, Delimited, just cross checking this to make sure. Database. And then this is going to be the path and the file name. Okay, so let's try and run this. We can add a new button here. And let me just call this. Uh, Okay, let's try this. Okay, so that I think was quick. That was very quick. If you look at the records, it's 913,000 records. Just upload it in like uh, within a second. Okay, so if you go here, you'll see the data type was already automatically created. Okay, so that's uh, if you have to import it into a new table by creating the table automatically. Uh, I'm just gonna make a copy of this table, just a structure, copy, paste, and let me call this as uh, transactions. Okay. Let's say that we want to import into existing table. So this will be sort text, customer ID, and this will be date, and this will be a number, and we want this to be double, so that you can hold decimal points. Okay, so um, let's create a second part of SQL. So 
I'm gonna copy this. Now, instead of um, select into, we'll use insert into, okay? Uh, so insert into, and then you'll specify the table you want to insert into. Uh, let me just close this first. Insert into this table. And then you can specify the fields. So what are the fields here? Customer ID, comma, transaction date, and amount. Close this. And then uh, from the source, we want to select. Oops, sorry. Not here. Just use the same fields because these are the field names that are there in CSV. Uh, select this from and then uh, this will remain the same. Let's try again. Looks like there is some problem. It didn't return any error though. Let me open this in debug so that if there's any error, we can see it. Okay, so it says syntax error near insert into okay i think this is a problem i didn't recheck that isn't bad so insert into the table fields select like these fields from this table again now i'm gonna open up in uh one time okay so let's see i'm gonna refresh f5 okay so all the data has been imported successfully Nine thirteen records into existing team. Okay, that will be it for this video. In the next video, we'll start uh, looking at how to read the data from database.